Well, that was fun. Big spur and arrow. I feel like it should have been a big bow and arrow though, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, not to be all judgy or nothing, but spur and arrow. to the next one which is about 30 minutes away and um, I already forgot what it is maybe I'll look it up or maybe I'll just surprise you pretty rude I know that sounds like an odd thing for me to say Hey, that's a pretty roof on that house. But I used to be a roofer. Mainly from the buildings, but I can appreciate a good looking roof when I see one. And actually, a roof is probably a stretch. I used to build metal buildings. Metal buildings have metal roofs. Anyway, not to be over detailed, but I can hear it right now. Oh, well, but you're a roofer, huh? No, that, I mean, not specifically. I'm a erector, thank you. Used to be. Former life. Anyway, let's see if I can figure out where we're going. You know, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, what a guy should probably do, what a guy should probably do is organize these 50 grand tour stops in a way where there are roadside attractions, sponsors, and uh, museums. That way, you know, to help support the cause, you go see the sponsors, spend a buck, make sure that they're open, uh, go by and check out the museums, you can make sure that they're open, or at least if you're going through there at a time, that, you know, you can swing in and see what it's all about. And then, uh, like, roadside attractions, hey, they're open 24 hours. So, like, the big spur back there, and Arrow, um, you know, it would have been nice to hit that first thing this morning, and then that Wasp Museum next, instead of vice versa. That way, we could have went inside the building. We're going to check in down the road. Through the magic of YouTube, we're here. Actually, we're about two minutes away. So, I guess... I guess, um, well... I'll just... I'll do that YouTube magic thing again. So... Okay, just, just one minute. And through the magic of YouTube, we're here. <laughs> Crosby Museum. Hey, there's another arrow. Yeah. Think they'd be pissed if I took the arrowhead? I mean, I'm kind of a collector. And by co collector, I mean I, I got one. I got one that was given to me here the other day. Let's see what we can see. My, um, my asshole brother thinks that it's hilarious that he gets better gas mileage than I do. And so he likes seeing this shit on my bike all the time. I never, very rarely get down to where it says low range. Unless I'm riding with Captain Dick. I'm all about experiencing new shit, but this was a new one.
I had a prepay, so I went inside and I said, I need four and a half gallons of 90 octane fuel. She said, I don't know how to figure that out. I said, okay, how, how much a gallon is 90 octane fuel? I don't know. Sweetheart, you're not leaving me a lot of options here. So, anyways, new experience for the day. Would you rather put ketchup or ranch dressing on everything you eat? I'd have to go with uh, ranch dressing. Yeah, no doubt, no question. Ranch dressing. What would you rather do? Uh, uh, the Cub, he's on his way to Trips Harley Davidson out in Amarillo. Jonas and I are headed up to an antelope leather. Well, shit, we missed Antelope Creek Leather. They're closed, but what's not closed is their sign-in board. They got a, this is the first one I've seen. They got a board here where you can sign. Everybody's been signing in their names and stuff like that. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool, guys. Now, if you're in the neighborhood, come check us out. We got a little swag up here. I don't see Salty and Sprinkles. Salty, don't cover up my damn sticker. Don't be a dick. We just came from this place called Malt's. Uh, oh, the, the malt shack, and uh, it was damn good, man, and it sucks because, you know, we're saving room for the big Texan later, turns out we're going to be able to make that happen, so hell yeah, but, um, oh man, their food was damn good, uh, shout out to the malt shack, plus they let us sign their wall, that was bitching, they don't even put a sticker up. Man, it was just all around winning. <laughs> Except for the big fat Indian, uh, <laughs> not the big fat Indian, but the, uh, the big Indian sign. Oh, wow, look at that view. Hello. Squirrel. You know what, guys? Let me see if I can't get the... Uh... I'm going to get you guys in on this action here. Eat your heart out. Yep. 